Hello and welcome to Taik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about Union and Row DAX in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button to become a part of our family and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Union and Row Union creates a union join table from the pair of tables. The syntax is union table expression 1 comma table expression 2 you can add multiple tables as well. An example is union finished goods table and raw material table. The condition is it has to be the same column range I mean the number of column has to be same between these two tables or else it will throw an error. The next is the row. Row returns a table with a single row containing values that result from the expression given to each column. The syntax is row, the column name and then the expression. You can add multiple column name and expressions as well. So example is row, the sales value, the column name manually given here, comma the sum of sales value. So it will run a table with a single row, sales value and sum of sales value. Let's go into the practical. So this is a Power BI file. In this, I have four static tables that is this raw material, finished goods and numbers and dates. So we will check one by one how it reacts with the text and numbers and then text and dates combination in the union DAX function. Now you may wonder that where you are going to use this union function. So for example here the table raw material which is coming from one data source and then the finished goods which is coming from another data source. Now you want to combine these as a category table and then you want to make the report in Power BI. In that case, the union function is going to use and it will be very helpful for you as well. These are the two different tables. So let's create a union table. Union text which I have created here. So it is union text is union function. So if I click open bracket here, it is asking for table one. I use this finished goods and then the table two is the raw material. You can add multiple tables by using the comma. So here I use just two tables. Now once I click OK here, it will generate a table, but the heading will come from the first table what you have used here. Here I use a finished goods, so it has taken a finished goods heading here, and it will return all the values from both the tables. Now if I change this one from finished goods to raw material, let's create a table, modeling, and then add a new table, union raw material equal to union function and then raw material comma finish goods so close commit now yeah it's created a table here now if you select here copy and paste and if i drag and drop here instead of this i need this so the heading it has taken the raw material because the first table I have used here is the raw material. Now let's have a look at the date function, how it reacts, text versus the date. So this is the union function and this is a DAX calendar I have used here, the table name and then the finished goods. I am comparing these two tables in union. So the DAX function I have written here union calendar DAX which is the date column comma the finished goods. And this is a text column. If I use this one and this outcome here, the so first is generates all the dates here and then the text value. Whereas if you look at the data type of this table, it has taken as text here. Okay, the same way if you let's have a look at the numbers. So this is a DAX function. So I have taken number 1 to 10, this is a table, and then the finished goods. So it generates all the numbers here and then the column value of the finished goods. So even for this, if you look at the data type, it is also text. So whatever you have done in union functions, it is just converting it into text format to avoid errors. Now the next thing is we have to use the row function. Okay, let's have a look at the DAX function. I use the same DAX function union, finished goods and raw material so that it will return all the values from the finished goods table and then the raw material table. And if I click here, so it is asking for me to add the table 3 
So table three in that I have taken the value as row, the dash function, and then the name of the column I have declared as others, comma z z z is the value I have given it manually. Um, in this scenario itself, let's take an example of this one itself. We have raw materials, we have finished goods. If a value comes from the data source, the actual data source, which is not available in raw material, not available also in finished good, we can switch all the values to the separate value of the column that is in others column as well. We can rename it as others. So while calculating this information, if the value is matching with the category, we can map this to aluminium, carbon fiber, comfort and road bikes, mountain bikes as well. If something the value is not matching with this respective value, then we can move all the values to this other category as well. So this is how you can able to use the row DAX function inside the union DAX. I hope you got this brief idea about the union and row DAX in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and become a part of our tech family. And also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Please post your feedback and comment in the comment section below. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.